Hey, what's up everybody? Rock here, gonna do a game of Headquarters on Dome. Dome is pretty much the equivalent of shipment for World at War. A very small map, so you're gonna get a lot of kills on it. Pretty much, uh, we decided on a game mode to play and specialize in we picked headquarters because it's going to give you your maximum amount of XP um, headquarters and, and search and destroy are your two game modes for maximum XP and headquarters is just a great game to play to rank up all your weapons because you're going to get a, quite a few kills in each game as well as lots of XP from capturing and holding these objectives. Uh, I just like the fast pace, close quarters action of headquarters like that right there. Um, I just enjoy that that aspect of this game mode. Uh, headquarters is going to be the game mode you see so many people using uh, MP40 juggernaut combination. Personally, I don't have a problem with it. Um, the MP40 is by far the best weapon in World at War. You're going to see so many people using it. There's no sense getting pissed off about it. Or else you're just going to stay pissed off all the time. Because 9 out of 10 players, it seems, uses MP40. And out of those nine, probably six are using Jug. So, you know, just get used to it and move on. Um, personally, I, I like using the Thompson a lot. Uh, Thompson with the round drum on it is an awesome weapon. Thompson with the regular clip really sucks. Um, it's, the clip is just painfully small. But once you put the round drum on it, it's pretty sweet. Has a has a really fast rate of fire, but you you do have to use stopping power on it. But I don't mind that. I, I use stopping power pretty much on every weapon class. When I'm playing headquarters, I'll also be using martyrdom. Um, a lot of people get pissy about that. Um, to me, it's a very wise perk choice for headquarters as you know it can help keep people off the objective whether you're in the process of trying to capture it or if you're defending it uh, it can help could could mean the difference in winning or losing you never know um, that's the only reason I use it uh, if you look at all my other videos on on this channel You'll notice I, I never use it when playing Team Deathmatch or Search and Destroy or anything else. It's always Headquarters. Um, but there's always going to be somebody that doesn't like any number of things. And um, what you're going to do. One big tip I can give you for playing Headquarters, try your best to play as a full party of six. You know, try to get five of your friends together and make a squad you know if you go it alone you're probably gonna lose losing at headquarters just sucks so bad um, you can go 40 50 kills in headquarters and lose and more than more likely than not the lowest ranked player on the winning team is going to have more points than you so that tells you how important it is to to really get on and capture the object objective and, and try your best to win. <laughs> Haven't really been playing a lot of World at War lately. I just happen to have this video and a couple others still stored on my hard drive. Um, got a little something new in the works I've uh, I've invested in a new recording device and, uh, 
You'll be seeing some of the results of it here soon. I'm still toying around with it, trying to trying to master a couple of things with it. And uh, I'll have some more news on it very soon. But uh, back to the fact we haven't been playing a lot of World of War. Um, I, I think we've just finally gotten burned out on this game. And, uh, like, for example, this whole last week, we've been playing Call of Duty 4. Um, trying to help a few friends rank up still in it. And pretty much just uh, killing time till November. Waiting on that Modern Warfare 2 to release. Um, I think it's going to be a huge title. I know Halo ODST will be pretty big, but I, I don't think I don't think they have seen anything like it in Modern Warfare 2 drop. It's just going to be huge. Pretty much my only decision is, you know, what version of the game am I getting? I know I'm not getting the standard, um, but I don't know if I'm going to get the Prestige Edition either. Probably going to go with the Hardened Edition. Um, if you don't know the differences between them, I suggest you check out Infinity Ward's YouTube channel. Um, I'll put a link to the video in the sidebar. But the three versions they have. The standard version comes with just the game disc. Hardened version, you get the uh, metal casing, artwork, you know. Um, and you also get a token for an Xbox Live Arcade version of the original Call of Duty. It was originally on PC. I think that's going to be pretty cool. I never played that game. I was never a PC gamer. So... Uh, I'm really looking forward to playing that almost as much as Modern Warfare 2. I'm sure we'll probably play World at War some more after Map Pack 3 comes out. If you're not aware of it, uh, Map Pack 3 is supposed to release sometime in August. We're going to have three new maps and a new zombie mode map. Which I think I'm looking more forward to the zombie map than I am the other three. Pretty much the zombie mode is, is I think, the big thing to World of War. If it wasn't for that, I think a lot of people wouldn't be playing this game as much. Don't get me wrong, I, think, I personally think it's a good game. It's not a great game, but it's a good game. Call of Duty 4 was a great game. And World at War is a good game. It's going to pretty much do it here. We're going to beat this team handily, 250 to 0. Uh, we could have camped last headquarters, go for kills, but we don't generally do that. We just finish it on out. It'll be 250 to 0. I think I get 43 kills, 15, 16 deaths, something like that. Pretty, pretty decent game. Hope you enjoyed it. Please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.